Hey guys, welcome back. This is lesson 10 of our free code camps HTML and CSS section. This lesson is going to go over CSS classes. So it says use a CSS class to style an element. Classes are reusable styles that can be added to HTML elements. Here's an example CSS class declaration. So we have our style tag and inside of our style tag, instead of having an H2 tag selected, they put dot blue text. This is a class. When this class is run, it applies color blue to any element which has this class. So it says, you can see that we've created a CSS class called blue text within the style tag. You can apply a class to an HTML element like this. So this is similar to what we've seen um, we, when we styled our H2 tag to red, when we first you know, were able to change our color to red. But instead of having style equals, we have class equals, and then you know the quotes. So here they give the element a class name of blue text. It says note that in your CSS style element, classes should start with a period. In your HTML elements class declarations, classes shouldn't start with a period. So the instructions are telling us inside your style element, change the H2 selector to dot red text and update the colors value from blue to red. So here we have our H2 selector and what they want us to do is change it to dot red text. They are also asking to change the colors value from blue to red. Right now the colors value is blue. They want us to change it to red. So as you can see, it hasn't changed the color um, at all yet. And this is because we're trying to select a class called red text inside our HTML. None of these have a class of red text yet. Like it showed here, we need to add it inside of our opening tag for either the H2 or the P tag. Any one of these that we give a class of dot red text will change that element's text to red because that's what we told it to do here. So they want us to do it to the H2 tag. So let's go in our H2 tag and give it a class of red text. So now it changes it because when our style tag runs, it searches for a class of red text. It searches all right here and it's able to find this H2 element which has a class of red text. When it finds it, it runs what's in the braces which is changing the color of the text to red. If we were to apply this class to our paragraph element, it should do the same thing. So we come here and we give this a class of red text. We see it also changes um, the text to red. So classes are, are really cool because you can, uh, let's say you don't want to change all your headings to red. Maybe you only want your, um, your first heading to be red and your first paragraph to be red and then your second heading you want a different color um, you wouldn't be able to do that by you know selecting all h2 elements so classes allows you to um, choose what elements you want to receive a certain style so let's see make sure that we did what it tells us your h2 element should be red our h2 element is red your h2 element should have the class red text. Our h2 element 
has a class of red text. Your style sheet should declare a red text class and have its color set to red. Your style sheet should declare, there it is, a red text class and have its color set to red. So we did all that. Just another heads up, this, this red text here, you could really change it to whatever you want. Here I'm just doing that because that's what they told us to do, but it's also good to name it a good name that, you know, lets people know exactly what it does so we don't have to kind of like scratch our head and be like, what does this do? And have to like look for it. So classes, you can name anything you want. Just make sure that when you call it up here in the style tag, that it's also that same class name, except in the style tag, you do start classes with a period. And that, you know, lets the element be selected. So let's run this, make sure it works. And it works.